watching on YouTube. How are you today? Woo! It's Monday. Get over and down under. Um, well, we're all opening up and the sun's out. It's sort of not like winter. It's supposed to be winter. It's supposed to be cold. But it's quite a nice day. How are you today? Well, I just had the most interesting conversation which I like to share with you guys with my youngest. Um, Oh dear me, the younger generation and us. Chain reactions and life lessons. Uh, media out there, you make us adults look dumb sometimes, you really do. With the way you report um, the world's events at the moment. It's like all this protesting stuff's new. And it makes it really hard for... Um, older people like me trying to talk to my younger ones and explaining to them that it's not it's a little bit more than a race issue it's more about the way we treat each other as a community because these issues aren't new there have been people talking about it for years and years even down in here in Australia like I remember in the early 80s there was a lot of talk about um, and 90s about what was happening in the prison systems with our youth and indigenous culture and the history wars that we were having in our own nation about not really acknowledging the massacres we had and my son he showed me this in, he brought he um read this interview in the new york times with bob dylan about his new and upcoming album which is coming up in friday yay which we've all had a glimpse of and oh my gosh it's the first time we've heard from him for a while i think it's 2017 and wow it sort of upset my little one a little bit until i had a chance to sit down and talk to him it didn't upset him he was very happy it actually ignited and old spark in him really um but he didn't like the way in sort of the way an 80 year old man was talking about the generation and i've, I've read what i've read the actual article and read the words bob dylan was saying and i sort of tried to explain to him i said well no you look at it look at the problems i have with my older son in trying to explain to him no he's trying to tell me these events and governments and democracy and what's wrong with it and all this other stuff and I'm trying to tell him that we knew about that back in those days but we found it really hard to be able to talk to each other because we were in a world in a trap in a way of trying to just survive and look after each other and we were given the today's freedom of communication like you are which makes it a lot harder for our children as well because if you <laughs> just go and have a look at all the different news opinions about what's happening in the world today you just have to go on the internet and you've got a lot of opinions and very little facts and that's where we get our children can be confused and think us oldies have no clue of life but it's like what I pointed it out in the article, I showed. <laughs> I nearly told him off because he turned around and said, Bob Dylan, people like Bob Dylan, people like me, all we do is complain. And I said, Well, yeah, no, yeah, no, we do, but we don't. Because and he goes, No, but that's good. Because in a way, you're not complaining, you're just trying to make the world better by voicing what you're seeing and us younger generations need to understand that you're not really complaining and telling us off you just want to try and work with us so here we were me and my son walking home from the shop just having this conversation a generational conversation about how different generations sort of worked with their problems and he could see how in a way how Bob Dylan hard to communicate outside of music his views of what the world wants because people would take on their own opinions to his words and chop and change them and 
don't stay with the facts. And the facts are just not opinions. Their reality, like the facts are, since World War Two, we have been giving our children a sense that our community life in the Western world is about freedom and peace and living together as one. But our commercial world doesn't allow that because we need poverty, we need poor people, we need to dangle the carrot of materialism to keep it all working. So that's where the confusion sets in. So by you seeing or writing or drawing or painting or making any form of creative art to try and show that in your society, yes, you might be seen as complaining or you might be seen as you can be showing that we suck as a community and we need to get better at kindness because then after that we got into a... <laughs> A long conversation of how socialism is often totally ignored by power and greed because to me to be a socialist 